My name is Chelsea Rock and I'm a senior at Stillwell High School. Like most seniors, Chelsea has a very full plate as she looks forward to graduating. This year, she's a member of the Student Council, the National Honor Society, and National BETA Club. And we held each other's high, and we forced in law, I fell in love. She is in jazz band, and her favorite group is show choir. She was once asked to attend a concert in Hawaii when she was an eighth grader. She's always been really proud that, that she is Native American. And there's been times we have done Native American music. We went to Honolulu, Hawaii one year when she was an eighth grader. We had to learn to sing in Cherokee. And so that was quite fun. And she told me, she said, I'm so glad that you taught us how to sing in Cherokee. She said, I never knew how to do that. So I think that's something she's proud of. Growing up in middle school and high school, I was exposed to some of the traditions at the cultural days that were held here, like with basket weaving and playing stick ball and things like that. It was, I found it really interesting. I wanted to learn more like about the cultures and I really like the music and stuff that they played and we got to watch them do some of their traditional dances and things and I thought that was really interesting. Chelsea was chosen for Oklahoma Eastern District Honor Choir and is now one of only two seven-year recipients of this award from Stillwell High School. She is also chorus queen this year. She also sang and played with the jazz band at their Christmas concert. Singing, however, is not her only talent. I play piano, guitar, and ukulele, so I'm almost always, there's almost always some noise going on in my house, whether it's piano, guitar, ukulele, or singing. I've had Chelsea in my class in choir since she was a fifth grade student. I immediately saw that she had a really good gift, and I was very impressed with what she could do naturally. And as time went by, I I had her in class and she just excelled, she just bloomed. Uh, it was like a flower just kind of opening up in front of you. And uh, the talent just kept going and she began to challenge herself trying to do really n harder music than, than probably she, sh she should have been trying. But um, some of the competitions we go to are very, very hard. And the music is extremely hard, but she worked so hard. Um, she would go out even and have a private lessons with another teacher just so she would learn that part as well as she could. Everything she's ever tried in my class, that has been her attitude. She goes above and beyond. I mean, anything you ask, it's always above and beyond. She's a great leader in our classroom. Uh, our students think a lot of There's something about her that has always just stood out, and her talent is a big part of that. Chelsea has been taking advanced classes since the fifth grade and advanced placement classes throughout high school. Chelsea, how's the story of Beowulf told? Through singing. Through singing and word of mouth, and it was come in and told, right? And it was poetic. Chelsea did not grow up in a traditional household, but she has learned about her heritage from her grandmother. My great grandma, uh, her name's Christine Wilson, she's in the nursing home right now but um, she used to sing at my church. She used to go up and she used to sing Amazing Grace in Cherokee. And she is always a really big role model for me. And she had a lot of cultural things like in her house for Cherokee Nation. And she is probably uh, the person that I revere most for being Cherokee. I have some of the blankets that she used to have that were, um, I guess she got from Cherokee Nation and we have them in our house. I think I'm very lucky to be blessed to have the heritage that I have because not many people can say that they're Cherokee and have the benefits that come with health care and school supplies and things like that and I know that if I ever did need anything that I, the Cherokee Nation would provide something for me. Put them together and we have each other. Put them together and we have each other. Good job.
Chelsea has been in Girl Scouts for 13 years and is currently working toward the Girl Scout Gold Award, which represents the highest achievement in Girl Scouting. She believes that the organization has helped her immensely. Leadership skills, probably one of the biggest things that I've taken from being in Girl Scouts is having leadership skills and my last year, kind of bittersweet. I probably won't stray too far from it, probably still stay pretty involved in my mom's troop and help with whatever they need me to help with. Chelsea helps her mother with her troop activities and meetings as well. Just give me that milk, moo, 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 moo. Just give me that milk, moo, 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 moo. She plans on attending college and eventually coming back to help the Cherokee Nation in some way. I would love to have a job within the Cherokee Nation, and I'm hoping whenever I go to college that I can do the program that they have where for every hundred dollars that they give you, you provide an hour of community service and I would love to be able to use that. I'm hoping to go to NSU and probably getting a bachelor's degree in either financing or accounting, something to do with numbers. I've always had a passion for doing math and things like that since I was in middle school. Mm -hmm.